Mortgage rates may be at record lows, but they're expected to increase next year. Find out what it means for buyers. Today's mortgage rates are at record lows, but soon they'll go away and rates will rise, which will impact monthly payments and affordability. The Federal Reserve is not in charge of setting mortgage rates, but instead they set the short-term Fed's funds rate, which is currently at zero. This rate affects auto loans, credit card rates, and small business loans, which is also known as short-term debt. Long-term debt, or 30-year fixed mortgages, are tied closer to long-term bonds. And watching any movement in the U.S. 10-year Treasury, bonds will indicate where mortgage rates are headed. Before this year, the 10-year has never been below 1%, which is now actually at 0.896%. Also before this year, mortgage rates have never been below 3%, and they are currently at 2.7%. Typically, bad economic news drives the 10-year down and good economic news pushes it higher. Because of the forced shutdown of the economy, COVID-19 and the economic recession drove the 10-year below 1% for the first time ever. There is a spread between a 10-year bond and a 30-year bond rate that usually coincides over time. The US economy has been on the road to recovery as retail, new home and residential resales have rebounded. Consumers are buying again and manufacturing has returned, with the coronavirus Pfizer vaccine being approved by the FDA and a second vaccine, Moderna, scheduled to be approved at the end of the week as well, there seems to be a more brighter outlook. By mid-2021, most of the U.S. population will likely be vaccinated from the virus and the economy will surely improve. With all this good news, the 10-year has improved from 0.645% in September to 0.896% today. In 2021, over the coming months, there will be more good news to follow, such as a congressional relief package, more positive vaccine news, positive job and economic reports. And soon enough, the 10-year will rise above 1%. And as a result, expect mortgage rates to increase from today's record low of 2.7% to around 3.5% by the end of 2021. For a $750,000 mortgage, today's 2.7% payment of $3,042 per month will rise to $3,368 at 3.5%. That's a difference of $326 per month or $3,912 per year. 3.5% is still a good rate, yet there's still a significant impact on the monthly mortgage payment. In November 2018, about two years ago, mortgage rates climbed to 5%. In comparison to today, for a $750,000 mortgage, the payment would be an additional $1,004 per month. Today's record low rates provide buyers and homeowners the ability to save a lot of money. For perspective, in November 2018, if you want a monthly mortgage payment of $3,000, your max purchase price on the home would be $698,750. The 5% rate shaves $226,250 in purchasing power, which is a huge difference. The combination of low active inventory with high demand will have homes appreciate in 2021. In LA County, the active listing inventory dropped 682 homes in the past two weeks, down 7%, and is now 9,303. It's the largest drop of the year and the lowest level start to December since 2017. As for Orange County, the active listing inventory dropped 317 homes in the past two weeks, down 9%, and is now at 3,152, its lowest level since tracking began in 2004. Even with the active inventory dropping to all-time lows since tracking began, there are more homes coming on the market right now compared to last year. And demand, which is the number of new pending sales over the prior month, decreased from 5,852 to 5,595 in LA County in the past couple of weeks. As for Orange County, demand decreased from 2,621 to 2,549, dropping 72 pending sales, down 3%. Now for some local neighborhood numbers in the month of November. Altadena sold 31 units with the average price of $1,166,658. Eagle Rock sold 9 units with the average price of $1,093,889. Dana Point sold 51 units with the average price of $1,369,385. And finally, Huntington Beach sold 181 units with the average price of $1,000,000. $7,323. That'll do it on housing for the month of November. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.